Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with this particular training session. In this session, I'll be talking about web intelligence. So basically, what is web intelligence? How do we connect to web intelligence system? And how do we connect our HANA systems to web intelligence systems? So let me connect to the web intelligence. So basically, here you can see that uh, I am connected to the web intelligence. So let me open a new session just to show you guys how we can connect to the web intelligence system. Okay, so basically this is the URL for the BI Launchpad. Okay, let me connect to the BI Launchpad. Okay, the username is administrator and password it's welcome one. And authentication, there are multiple authentication available in the system. In this case, you can see enterprise is there, LDAP, Windows AD. Oracle, PeopleSoft, SAP. So in my case, I am going to use the enterprise authentication. Okay, so let me connect to the enterprise authentication and you can see in the BI Launchpad, you have multiple things from the BI port product portfolio. That is, you have BEX, you have module, you have analysis edition for OLAP. Then you can see it's crystal report for enterprise and BI workspace. Okay, let's go below its web intelligence and explorer okay let me connect to the web intelligence application so let me click on this and here you can see that i am connecting to the web intelligence system okay in the web intelligence system here you can see uh, this particular we will click on this icon where i am going to create a new web intelligence document okay if i click on this and here there are different options I have an option to connect to a data source. I can use an universe as a data source. I can use a box. I can use an analysis view. Okay, so in my case, I am going to connect using a universe. So this is how basically we use SAP HANA to connect and fetch the data and use it in web intelligence report. So here on this window, you can see multiple universes which we have created on different HANA systems and other data sources. So I'll connect to SAP HANA data source. So in this case, let me connect to this particular universe. Okay, here you can see that I am loading this view. So it's getting loaded. Give it a couple of seconds. Okay, so let's, okay, here you can see this particular universe is loaded. Okay, on the left side, you have whatever you have selected for creating a universe. So for the results, say for example, I want to capture say the year as one output. I want to capture say currency as another output. You can just drag and drop and unit of measure as another output and say if I say vendor as another output. Okay, purchasing group as another output. So this is what I want to see in the output. Okay, so probably gross value. So these are the measures that I would like to see net value and the quantity. So this is the output that I would like to see in my case. Okay, in this particular case, I want to query on vendor. So let me drag this vendor over here. Okay, it's in the list. There are different options available over here, but in my case, I'll just select from the list. Okay, and I want to give the value from the list. Okay, so here you can see, so let's say, let's say I am selecting these particular vendors from this particular list. Okay, to select them, just click on this tab and these are the vendors on which I want to query on. So, okay, I have selected the query and now I want to run this particular query. Okay, the query is running and you will see the chart the report in this particular format so this is the report that is so here in this particular report you can see these are the different fields that i am reporting on and this is the chart format that is available right now but i have the option to select from these different charts i can select these line charts i can select this pie diagrams okay so let's say let for example i want to report it on say a line diagram so let me select this and wherever I right click that particular chart will be created. Okay, so I have just clicked, click on insert and this particular chart will get created. Here you can see that the chart is created. So I'm not interested in 
say this particular chart this particular table so just I will right click and click on delete okay this is deleted and in this particular case also I will just right click and select on delete okay so in this particular case I have selected this table as well now I have this particular canvas to drag this report there okay so this is the report that I have selected say for example I want to a pie chart over here so I'll just click on pie chart okay and I can create this pie chart over here okay so here you can see that the pie chart is create this particular chart is created so here we have multiple options I can select a bar chart I can select a line diagram I can select a pie chart depending on the canvas which is available say if, if I want to select a pie chart I can just click there and you can see that the pie chart is is created and we have the option to organize this in a, in a in a nice format say for example here I have just selected these particular charts so these are the different formats in which the query you can run this query on okay thanks everyone thanks for joining and have a nice day bye bye